Hey guys, it's been a while since I've actually uploaded any tutorial videos for Roblox scripting, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. You guys can tell by the title down below, I'm going to be going over what a get children function is. Quick, simple solution explanation is it's a built in Roblox fun function that you can use throughout scripts to call a set amount of ch get children, set children of, say, a model or a part. It returns a read-only table, so it creates a table with a list of all the pieces, all the children of whatever you're referencing. So I'm just gonna go right ahead, go ahead, get right into this, and show you guys a quick example. I accidentally just clicked insert from file, so ignore that, please. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make it print a title. The, the children of my character. That's all we're gonna do. So, alright. So, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna make a variable. You're gonna wanna make a variable call, call whatever you want. Say this, we're gonna call it childs, would be then equals to what, you, what you're trying to get. Game of has no fun in this case. Then you put a colon get children it's one of the built-in functions if you were to go into your object browser I believe you can find it somewhere not entirely sure to be honest somewhere alright so if we do this and just run it like this we're gonna get nothing it gets the children but it doesn't know what to do with it so say we want the print child, right? So let's go ahead and try print child. It prints a table because this is it proves that it runs a table. So you get the table zero CAF one two one eight. What does that mean? Well, for this case, I'm going to be using a loop just so you guys can see. Make it simple around you guys. So if you guys haven't seen the video um, on my, on my loop video, go back and check that out. For check equals one two. In this case, this would be like one hundred or whatever you want to your max. But in this case, we have a set amount of number. We already have the amount we want. So we want the number of child. In this case, it would be the number of children that's found. In this case, it would be seventeen. And then obviously do and yeah, you know, good stuff. So still say we try to print childs. So let's go ahead and try to print that. See what we get. We get the table over and over. So what we want to do is we want to get. Alright, I'm going to have to go ahead and make a video on tables, so I'm going to go ahead and combine this video as a video with tables and get children, since you, I haven't actually gone over tables yet and just uses the table. So what a table is, is a way to hold data. You can hold strings, you can hold numbers, you can hold true or false values. And all sorts of stuff. You can hold names, which would be a string, that kind of thing. When you're referencing a table, you have indexes. Like, say this is number 1, number 2, number 3, so on and so forth, all separated by commas. That's kind of how this works. Check equals 1, 2, number of children. Since this would return as a table of, say, like all of our stuff, like it would be like... Our table would come out like pants, shirt, health, humanoid, so on and so forth. So what we want to do is we want to check the number of each. So childs, that's the table we have because we, we've got children which runs the table here. Since this checks for the number of children, we can do, when you're referencing a number, of a table, like a piece, a certain part of the table, 
you would use the brackets and then whatever number you want. So in this case, like 1 to 5 or something like random. So in this case, we want to do what the check is. Forgot, sorry. Alright, so. Wait. Did I do this thing? Oh, whoops. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out for a little bit now. So as I said before, it prints a random piece. Like, this is what I showed you right here on my table. It's right now it prints anything from here on random. It's basically the same concept with this. Watch. It's going to print the entire list of things we have in our character. As you guys can see, it just went ahead and printed everything we have in our character. Everything that I found head, torso, arms, body parts, hats, that kind of thing. So, this can actually be used for a lot of stuff because even though the tables read only, you can still edit from within. Like, you can't actually like make your own table with it, like this. You have to like say create a bunch of different things. Um, all right, in this case, all right. What I'm trying to say is like, say we went to child's check. That prints their name. All right, so you could edit child check. So like, say like if child's check. Let's just say if it's a part, then. Let's make the block, I don't know, black. So, if we were to run this, anything in our character that's a part, not counting the handles inside of a hat, because it's not a direct descendant, it would become black. In this case, it did. So I'm going to be using this in a couple tutorials I'm doing later on in the video, later on. I'm going to be taking some, doing two videos, making a, I might combine them into one, it depends on how this goes. I'll be taking a really basic script, like say a door, or a lava jump, or making your character invisible, or moving hats, so on and so forth, and implementing more advanced kind of snippets of tutorials that I've done, such as this. This is going to be used frequently in some of the videos I do later on. So you are definitely going to want to notice and practice around a little bit. A little bit. So feel free to check those out in the future. I will be trying to get a couple more tutorials up because I have been a little bit behind on my tutorials. So thanks for watching. Comment below if you guys have anything else you want me to try. If you have something that you're confused on, go ahead and leave a message below. I will try and respond as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe and check out more videos.